stubborn hey champions welcome back to another video i'm crystal i'm bill and today we're gonna find out what it's like to date a lovely taurus man since we are in the taurus time right now april 20th to may 20th is the time of the taurus yep so i thought it would be a good time to find out what it's like to date this lovely sign let's go first up they are stubborn <laughs> stubborn 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 not stubborn <laughs> so build. stubborn guys you want an example you know usually when i'm dating i like have her way guys will like always <laughs> say sorry and i'll always have my way this dude <laughs> He is so stubborn. <laughs> babe. I don't give up. Babe don't babe could keep a malice for a long time. I can't keep malice. That's the thing. We're gonna get into my sign and how both of us sign work together. But before we get started, alright, so for Taurus, birthday usually fall from April 20th to May 20th, as he said. They are fixed earth sign. Ooh, we're earth, earth. sign. I'm an earth sign, yes. What are you? Earth. Anyways, the key words that match them is they're reliable, relaxed, pragma pragmatic. I don't even know what that word means. Let's Google that because I don't know what it means. <laughs> what does pragmatic mean? What do you do better? Dealing with things sensible and realistically in a way that is based on a practical rather than theoretical consideration i guess that, that definitely sounds like bill wow yeah that is so you like we'll debate all the time like but what if and that that and he's just a practical person and he's another like thing, he stick to another the thing is taurus we like to solve problems on our own babe i'm the one that's telling what it's like to date you <laughs> Anyways, they are pragmatic, sensual, and romantic. So let me see out of all these keywords that we just described, which one might if applies to Bill. You are reliable. Like I can always count on you to be there for me, do anything that you need to get done. Like, yep, I that's a good husband trait. He's relaxed. I'm Bill is, relaxed. guys, he is so relaxed <laughs> that I'll cuss him that he's boring. Like, I'm babe, sure. I want to go to the club. Let's go to the club. He'd be like, no, nah, you could go your sisters. He's like so chill. <laughs> so it could be a good thing and a bad thing. Before I met Bill, I used to date someone I was outgoing and I didn't like that they were so outgoing. So now I'm with Bill and he's so relaxed. Like. Meet me in the middle. That's so. It's a good and a bad thing. But I love. I'm outgoing. I love that about I, I you. I try in new a way. things. It's just I'm more not comfortable. Often. I'm more comfortable not doing new things. And we went over pragmatic. Yeah, that's definitely Bill. Sensual. You think you're sensual? sensual. I'm very sexy. Mm -hmm. Sensual. He can't get enough of this. <laughs> oh, hold on. <coughs> Let's make sure we're understanding that word to the best of our ability. Sexual pleasure. Mm. Ah, romantic. In times. You you know you're very romantic. Like you'll make flowers out of napkins for me. You'll like do a little lasagna, take out the wine. Like he works within his budget. And we're gonna go into money soon. Like he do stuff. He's romantic. He'll go buy bubble bath. He'll set the bubble bath. He tries. He does this. You you're romantic. I do dishes. If you Sometimes. want, is that romantic? It is in some women's eyes. Ooh. <laughs> it says his love anthem. It's a drunk in love by Beyonce. I don't even listen to Beyonce. Beyonce is the boss. You heard that new remix with Megan Thee Stallion. That's my answer. My mama was a savage. Okay, it's all about you. <laughs> Famous Taurus yeah. men. I did not know Travis Scott was a Taurus. That's cool. George Clooney. Ooh, he's a sexy. Who's Rami Malek? I have no idea. David Beckham. I know that name. I he's a, suck, a soccer Pattinson. player. 
Robert Pot didn't he pass it? Let me see if I make let's look up Robert Pattison. Who that was? Robert Pattison. Oh. Twilight! I don't know why he a uh, lot of sexy men is uh, they're the, uh, part the of the sparkly, Taurus gang. The sparkly uh, vampire. Gang, gang, <clears throat> gang, babe. You're part of the sexy gang. It says Taurus. Um, on the flip side, Leo and Aquarius will often file themselves in different pages than their Taurus men. Guys, fun fact is I'm an Aquarius, and whenever they do matches, they always match a Taurus with an Aquarius. It's funny. I don't know. Maybe that's why we get along so well. But it says Aquarius will compromise with you and they'll appreciate your other style and personality. Their relationship has the potential to grow stronger over time. Do you think for the past three years that we've been dating, come June, end of June will be our anniversary, guys. Do you think we have grown together over time? If anything, we're definitely stronger together. Ooh. All right, so <coughs> let's get into Taurus. This is from my perspective. I'm not saying every Taurus man is like this, guys. So we went over the fact that Bill is very stubborn. He does stuff on his own will, and it's can it, you know Aquarius are stubborn people too. Not as stubborn as me. That's the thing. So can you <laughs> imagine two stubborn people living together? We cause arguing. hurricane and earthquake and volcano. Start, start arguing, then no one's getting anywhere, so we just give up. Exactly, <laughs> and then we make up. All right, <laughs> next thing is what I love about Bill being a Taurus. This is something I pick up. Taurus men, they are not a show off, which means you won't see them dressing and bragging about their wealth. Bill is like easygoing. He don't, Bill don't want to wear like a chain or a watch or he's, he'll, I'll be like, babe, put your chain on, wear your watch, use that cologne. He's like, oh, I'm just on the reserve side, white tee, plaid, he like plaid shirt, boots. Like for Taurus men, you'll see their wealth on their woman. Like he'll buy me expensive stuff, but he won't spend it on himself. Pepper. I broke down. He's gonna. Other. He didn't buy underwear. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm the one that go and buy Bill underwear. I do all that stuff. Bill would stretch on. Like I'm the one that go and buy underwear. His white socks, all Pants. that stuff. <laughs> so Bill will go and spend on Pepper too. Like the Pepper is our our dog, and he'll go buy our toys. Da da da. And that's how it's gonna be when we have kids. You'll see his wealth on his wife and his kids. And it's the a good thing I'm in. a good woman. In the home we live in. The That's you in. spending for your kids and your wife, providing a roof for them. Because you, you by yourself, Bill, you'll if just I, live in a my, trailer. If you I don't have my care. Video, if I have my video games and my kids are well taken care of, my wife's well taken care of. And not care. just your, mom, um, your wife and kids, your mom, your sister. Like they're very, He's very family oriented. And he looks like nobody mess with his sister or his mom. He's going to fight you. He's like, don't trouble him. He's not one to provoke or trouble nobody. But when you mess with what's his, then the You can raft. mess with me all you want, but yeah. leave my family out. <laughs> um, we went over his reserve. He don't like going out. That's true. Went over that. When, one thing about Bill being reserved. Guys, Taurus men, they keep things inside. Like... You gotta, pr you gotta like pull it out of them. Like Bill and I, like something will bother him, and he'll keep it inside. And I just know it's bothering. So I'm like, babe, are you sure everything is okay? And you know, and he's like, that's why I play his video game. But I know that I did something fucked up or some shit. Excuse my language, but yeah, if you're dating a Taurus man, be pa be willing to be patient, cause they'll come out to you when they're ready. But for the most part. They, the more you pry, the tighter we're holding it. Yeah, they'll come. Just be patient with them. They'll come out. But yeah, they are reserved. Next thing is. Or you can always just get us mad about something else and we'll bring back up. Oh, yeah, <laughs> guys, that's true. Taurus men, they will, like, when I do something I'll a year later. <laughs> Some other topic, and he's mad about me for, about something else. And I only remember what you did when we were in Jamaica. <laughs> and I'm like, it, well, I'm just thing, an example. The, the example is like she would do something, and 
it'd make me mad, but I'd hold it in. I won't say anything. And then she'll get mad at me over something. Then and then that's, that's when I find out he was mad about something from before. Well, you know what? You did this. Exactly. The he holds the, Like, when I'm upset, I just it's say... It's ammo, guys. When I'm upset, I say <laughs> what I'm upset about. Get it over with. We don't hold grudges. Taurus, man, they'll keep stuff inside. And then when they explode or they're upset, then... That's they explode. Next thing is, guys, they love junk. Bill don't throw away anything. If I'm throwing away a shoes for Bill, wait, that's my shoes I could wear it if I'm going camping. Or, no, that was, that's a souvenir. Bill don't like to throw away stuff. By the way, you owe me new boots. I don't owe you no boots. Cowboy Those boots were big. Guys, I probably have a picture. My cowboy the boots, boots were expensive. He did pay a good amount of money for it. However, the boot got so old that Bill was wrapping tape around the boots. <laughs> I remember I showed up to work and I see this dude with tape. I'm like, why do you have tape around him? Bill can afford to buy any shoes. Like, if you anybody know Bill, know Bill can afford to buy any shoes. Bill was wearing tape on. I shoes. wear shoes till they start talking. You need to. The bottom goes like this. <laughs> like and. It, it's not just about the shoes. If he loves the shoes, it's something that he appreciates. Then that's how they hold on to stuff that has value to them. Like that glasses your mom got you for your birthday. Everywhere we were going, even when it wasn't called for shades, Bill would be in his shades. What did he ever do with that glasses though? What happened to it? The My one your mom. Aviators? Yeah. My fake Louis. <laughs> <laughs> mom got me fake Louis from some Chinese was place, it? but I love them. He was wearing it all the time. Like we were like, they babe, babe, they looked legit, where are we going? But they we were don't, fake. we don't need to wear that. Next thing is, guys. I think at my mom's. Taurus men, they hate change, guys. Like if usually I would, we would come home, have dinner, watch a movie, and then one day I decide like we're gonna do the opposite. We'll watch a movie now, have dinner later, or we'll sleep on separate side of the bed. He, guys, perfect example. If I should go in the room and try to sleep on Bill's side tonight, it is not happening. We're going to fight and he's going to throw me on my side. <laughs> like he does not like you. change. Like for me, I don't care. I'll sleep on opposite side. I'll eat. If I usually, if we usually eat pizza <clears throat> on Saturday and today we decide to have Chinese, I don't mind. Bill like to stick to a routine. They Routines don't like. Routines are safe. They hate change, guys. One way only. That's their life. It's not true. We will change. Will we like it? Probably not. But we will. To and compromise for the ones we love. That is true. And that's what I'm going to get into. When they love you, guys. When a Taurus man love you, they truly love you. Know you know how much stuff she they, gave, it's not I gave up for her. Trust <laughs> me. We could change. Yeah, they're stubborn, but if they love you, they will put in the work to change. They, it doesn't, it's not easy for a Taurus man to say, I love you. So when you're dating a Taurus man and you hear those three words, I love you, just know it's real and it's no bait thing just to get, however, it's no, as I'm saying, it's no bait thing just to get in their pants. Like they actually mean it. Babe, when you told me I love you, you were drunk. Do you remember that? A drunk yeah. mind, a drunk body speaks a sober mind, though. He called me. Uh, he was out at karaoke with his friend, and he Facetimed me, and he was like, "I love you," and I'm like, <laughs> "It was still new in our relationship," so I was like, oh, no. "I didn't know how to act." But when they do love you, they love you. <laughs> my mushy mushy bear, my teddy bear. All right, next up, guys. Masculine trait. A Taurus man, I, I think I said this when I was in our video, go watch it, the link will be right there when I talk about what it's like to date an uh, American man. Well, American, have an American fiance. So, Bill is very masculine as you could see. Show them your muscle, babe. Like, I'm always playing with his <laughs> muscles. <laughs> And but when they when they get in touch with that femininity, that that feminine side, who guys, we just literally watch Hustlers together. I was supposed to go watch Hustlers with my sister and my friend, and I didn't go. And Bill and I like I told him a while ago like you're my best friend. Like I don't have that much friend, but you and I are like 
we are girlfriends on the couch. We'll be eating popcorn and Don't you'll say be like girlfriends. <laughs> Leave it at best friends. <laughs> I'm not girlfriends. Babe, I'm not babe, you know what I mean. What I was saying, guys, is like, I have fun with this dude. Like, I don't, of course, we should lead a separate life sometimes, but with this quarantine and being stuck in the house, I don't have to worry about not going to the club with my friends, can't go do that with my friend. This dude is my friend. Like, I put this wig on, I'm like, I do I look at my babe, and he'll laugh at me. Like, we'll do stuff together, fun stuff, and that's good. Like, you are my friend. I was like, like is that Cardi? You. And he's like, yeah, and J-Lo and Lady Gaga. Has a good Lizzo. movie. <laughs> and Lizzo. If you haven't seen that movie, go see. It's fun. Next up is they are loyal, loyal, loyal. Loyalty? Sing that Chris Brown song. I don't know. You don't know, <laughs> lo- you don't know loyal? These hoes are loyal. You know it. You just didn't know it. Chris Brown sang. <laughs> Anyways, guys, Bill is very. I don't. Hopefully, some girl can't come on, on this video and be like, "Girl, you don't know." I t- let me tell you about Bill. He be in my DMs. <laughs> <laughs> but for from what I know, hopefully not bored. I don't have to take it back. So far, he's been loyal. Does he do some dumb shit sometimes? Yes, but. For the most part, I trust him, and I would give this guy the key to my heart. So, if you don't, if you ever, if you know a, a guy that's Taurus and you've been thinking about getting with him, I would recommend give it a try, guys. Taurus men are awesome, and I'm happy I'm dating him. That's it. You got anything to say, babe? What about the bad stuff? I know you got bad stuff to say. I don't have stubborn. That's the bad stuff. You. Are, that's you. That's, that's the only that. trait about you being Taurus that I don't like. Is that that's you're, only because you're stubborn. You are stubborn. It's I'm difficult stubborn. working with you. Not that's the only bad stuff. But not guys, stubborn. if you have a stubborn guy, you know what to do to except get your Taurus, way. Except Taurus still don't budge. He'll budge. I know how to soften him up, guys. So whatever but anyways guys thank you for watching please go ahead like comment and share this video and if you're not a champion you're not winning exactly catch you next time bye